<laughs> you like my titties, don't you? What would Joe do? <laughs> what would I fucking do? Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of What Would Joe Do? With me, Joe! If you can't remember what happens, you ask me the questions, I answer them. Remember, one rule. No rules, no boundaries, you can ask whatever you like and I will tell you what I would do in that situation. So, let's get started! Question one. Advice please. I have found my wife in bed twice with my dog in between her legs, apparently asleep. Am I being paranoid here? Okay, I'm gonna be really, really sensitive here. <laughs> You were serious? Man, you have problems. I think she's trying to tell you something. I think she's trying to tell you that the dog licks her out better than you do. <laughs> Does she do it doggy style? Seriously, you must have a very disappointing sex life if your wife can get better sex from a creature that spends all day licking its own asshole. I bet however she got seduced by that dog, it must have been a sign. Hey baby. I saw you licking your ass there. Mmm, yeah, that's right. Mmm, get all that skid market stuff off. No, I lost it. Can I just point out, it's very distracting having you down there like that. Second question, and I promise this one's a little less grim. Liar! What would you do your boyfriend doesn't sexually satisfy you anymore? Grandma? Seriously, how can you expect anyone to willingly have sex with you when your grammar is so bad that it would make your parents regret the sex that conceived you? I certainly regret the sex they had that made you. Anyway, I can't answer this one as I've never had a boyfriend. Don't ask me why, I just don't particularly feel like having a Cumberland sausage rammed inside my chocolate fudge centre. No parking in my garage. So my advice here is simple. That's a lot of hand movement. Fuck a woman. They'll probably satisfy you sexually a whole lot more, unless the women I slept with are anything to go by. <laughs> Joe, what would you do if your nan offered you oral? Well, if that happened, I would be slightly worried. Because my nan's dead! Plus, wouldn't the ghost oral sex type thing turn my cock into an icicle? Because people always say, when ghosts go by, it's cold. Jesse, for fuck's sake! But on the other hand, with my cock being that cold, I might finally understand that sex scene in Twilight. Bella wasn't moaning because she was enjoying it. She was moaning because his dick was freezing. Oh, 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 I had words. It's fucking freezing! Do you reckon that there's a chance that she would have orgasmed ice cream? Oh! Oh! Mmm! It appears I've orgasmed ice cream. Mmm! Fish food flavour! That's all from me for this episode, and if there was a lot of grimness. Grimness? That's not even a word. If you like what you see, hit the like button. If you dislike it, well, fuck you then. Laters, bitches.